Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to talk about capacitive touch board or capacitive touch sensor. And we're going to be talking about this board here that uses the MPR 121. So I can bring this up here and get it to focus. 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 There we go. So you see on the one side we have our connections. And the important one to note there is 3.3 volt. That is all this board is. 3.3, you cannot use it with 5 volts. IRQ, SCL, and SDA, which means this is an I squared C board. Address and ground. And then if we come over here and look, those are our electrodes. So, that being said, let's talk about how we're going to hook this up to our Arduinos, which mostly use 5 volts. Well, it's not that hard. You are just going to need one of these guys here, and this is a level shifter. Now let's see if we can get it to focus. That'll be the key. Hey, look at that. Focus right away. Okay, you can see the level shifter has two sides. The high voltage side and the low voltage side. And now you see here, low voltage one, low voltage two, low voltage three, and low voltage four. Those are your 3.3 volt connections. I mean, those are your signal connections, okay? LV and ground, this needs to be connected to your 3.3 volt output on the Arduino and ground. Now on the high voltage side, you need to connect this to five volts and this to ground. It's not that hard to do. Let's uh, zoom out here just a little bit and I'll show you how we're going to hook this thing up. Okay, let's start by connecting the 3.3 volt from our Arduino to the low voltage side of the board. Then we're going to connect the 5 volt pin of our Arduino to the high voltage side of the board. So our power connections are now made. Really simple. Next we're going to connect A4, our serial data line, from the Arduino to one of the high voltage sides of the level shifter. And then the low voltage side goes to the SDA pin on the MPR121. Same thing for our clock. Goes to the high voltage side. And then the low voltage side comes out and goes to our clock. Now we also need to connect our 3.3 volt power line to the 3.3 volt on the MPR121. Connect it to ground. And last but not least, we need to connect the IRQ line to D4. So that's our setup and it's pretty simple. Now, as for the addressing of these, okay, you see we have that address pin right there. Well, you have one, two, three, four possible addresses. If you connect, let's zoom in here. That ah, wrong button, Paul. All right. If you connect address to ground, then your address will be OX5A. If you connect it to VCC, it'll be 5B. If you connect it to data, it'll be 5C. And if you connect it to clock, it will be 5D. So those are our addresses. Let's go look at the code. All right, so we're looking at the demo code for the bare conductive MPR 121 library. And uh, I will put the link to it down below. 
So you need two libraries, the MPR121 and the wire library. And for these boards, they have 12 electrodes. We have a serial begin at 9600 because that's where our output is going to be. Now, here let's talk about the addresses. You need to put in what address you have for your board. Um, like I said earlier, depending on where you um, attach the address, jumper 2 is what your address will be. Then you have your interrupt pin. You must attach it or it won't work. Your thresholds, blah, blah, blah. And then it just prints out what was touched and what was released. Pretty simple. Okay, everything is hooked up and ready to roll. So if you look here at the screen, as I touch these pins, it shows you what was touched and what was released. And it works very well. Now you can put in different things like for instance here is a jumper wire I'm going to put into number eight and it says number eight was just touched. Well what happens is you just need to recalibrate by resetting and once that's done it works just fine. You can use anything you want um, copper, aluminum, you can even stick it into a hot dog and have hot dog switches. Pretty neat to use, pretty simple to use. That's all there is to it. So if you guys like this, please give me the big thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'll see you next time.